Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Darksiders 3. Now, uh, where we left off, I imagine you're probably uh, keeping track of some sort. Uh, <laughs> we had just killed our first deadly sin, Envy. Be honest, kind of a pushover. Uh, expected to die least like twice especially with the fact that like if I can just shove the boss on me like I wasn't even expecting that I expected like some exposition or something it was just like nope here's a boss that was but that was fun really just fucking threw me off but in a good way One of the things I, I, I like about the whip is that it's got a good range. Like when when she uh, uses it, it kind of goes back too, so she's not just getting uh, the people in front of her. She's also getting the ones in back. Ooh, what was the What was that? I'm gonna hold on. Uh. Okay. So... No, that didn't seem to be it. What? what was that attack I just did? Uh, it's not any of those. Oh, that's something interesting. Oh well, I'll figure it out later. Alright, now I think, I think I heard some, someone over here, ooh, that's a big boy, should I fight the big boy? I'm gonna fight the big boy, let's go. Ooh, that, this might have been a bad idea. But I am not one to back down from the challenge. So let's fight! Yes! <laughs> Was it worth it? Definitely not. Uh, ooh! Socket enhancement will confer active benefit to the weapon. Sweet! Let's see. Uh, equip enhancement. Ooh, I get extra health. I seek the strength of heart and of arms. Oh, I gotta hold it in. Sweet! Um... 
I guess I, Fury has different forms, I think, as exemplified in the trailers. So, uh, I suppose with those different forms and different abilities, because I remember uh, there's a similar thing in Dark Siders 2 there are with Death, survivors. where uh, he gained. Uh, oh, what was it? He just gained different uh, abilities that he could use in combat, but also as movement abilities. I can't remember actually if he used them in combat, but I know he gained different movement abilities and stuff. It's impressive. But is it just me, or is it out of place here? <laughs> that is tree is tree. impressive. Most likely we will find refuge there. Are you sure that the tree is the only thing that's impressive? It's not my incredible fighting prowess. Oh, fuck me in the dick hole. I, if there's one thing I never really like about hack and slash games is that there's always that one point oh so that's these are for but there's always like that one point where it's just like let's have a bunch of these guys fucking bum rush you oh fucking grip on my controller almost just came off that would have been awkward Temporary call upon Fury's Havoc form. While in this form, inflicts mass amounts of arcane damage. Cool. I am going to opt not to do that at this moment in time. I'm going to save that for when I'm fighting an actual enemy. Uh, <laughs> or rather, an enemy of threat, as opposed to these little punk-ass bitches. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to, uh, go back to the point that I was at, and I will, uh, start recording when I'm back. Uh, oh, uh, bye-bye. And we are back. Okay. So, yeah, just gotta be more careful about going through this section this time. And, boom, there we are. Ooh, I can guarantee that there's going to be some enemies that are going to drop down on me from over here. No? Really? I mean, I guess they figured since you you dealt with all those fuckers that, uh, I know you needed a little break. I would really like to know what these things are, because like I don't really remember much of the enemies in the first game, but I remember I don't remember these guys being in the, in the second game. Uh, I, in the second game, I think the main enemies, like the main foot soldier enemies, were like weird golems. Aren't we making a mighty ruckus? Says the demon who announces Ooh, his ambush. It's Volgrim. <clears throat> it was not my intention to do battle, horseman. <laughs> well, such a passionate little thing, aren't we? Do not test my patience. Very well. War is too hazardous an occupation for myself, horseman. I am here in the name of blind capitalism. I am Volgrim, merchant of the dark, a trader who deals in souls for profit. Even in the face of the apocalypse, one must endeavor to earn a living. I mean, and I guess. souls do you trade in? Objectively. Angel, demon, or even human. All souls have value to me. I've seen the trail of bodies you've left in your wake. What would I require from you? That depends. What are your needs? Information. 
the seven deadly sins. Whispers on the wind say that the fabled horsemen are but pawns in a larger game. Victims of a grand setter. What do you know? I know that the first one's free. Call for me if you have souls to trade, and perhaps you will consider my wares valuable. Bulgrim Plinth, Fury King Plinth. Souls, blah 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 blah. Oh, flows throughout the world and beyond, allowing fast travel between plinths. Oh, cool! So these aren't what just respawn points. Show me a shit. What you got? What you got, boy? What you got, boy? I don't remember anything from the Undying Shard. That could be useful for bosses and stuff. Nah, uh, I'm just. I'm gonna go with. An excellent choice. Ah, I see. As you wish. This will be fun for both of us. Ooh, okay. As you wish. So that's kind of similar to... Um... Uh... Ooh, shit. Great strength. Hmm... I'll upgrade physical damage and and rough tanks. And you know what? I'll do arcane damage too. Shall upgrade health. Sweet. Good eating. Please take your time. Okay. As so those are the wait. fast travel points to the serpent holes for the boat. Uh, wait a minute. Which? No. Okay. So this is the way I think supposed to go. Yeah. Fulgrim and his demon tongue. They live to confound and feed of the scraps of a world they help destroy. Indeed they do. But despite his thirst for souls, Volgram may be a useful tool on this journey. Small healing shard, yes. Ooh. Fuck. <laughs> uh, that's what I get for trying to get rewards and shit. Love me some shiny shit. 
Uh, can I get through this? It would appear not. Well, I guess I'll have to go through the rest of the fucking tree. Hmm, I wonder where this is. Hmm. The like length of these roots have grown. They seem to have taken over everything. Indeed, mistress. It's almost impossible to tell. Like... Kind of wish there was a combo counter just because I feel like it'd be really fun to see all of those uh, numbers go up especially when I get different kinds of weapons I wonder if Strife will get me, give me one of his pistols again because uh, you know for those who don't know Strife is the only fucking horseman who's just like oh yes give me the guns please <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, <laughs> Strife just fucking has, like, dual revolvers, like he's a fucking cowboy or some shit. Yeet, I believe you could say. Ooh, what is the down here? Nice. I always love getting me some shit. Uh, let me see. I'll use a small healing shard. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, definitely cannot traverse that distance at the moment, but this distance on the other hand. Whee! <laughs> oh, it's just mindless fun. I'm curious as to who remains here, if anyone. Probably some fuck boys. Yo, Volgrim, what it be? What would you ask of this? Take your time. Okay, so every time you buy something from him, it's a permanent price increase. As you that's that's well kind of dickatry, though. <laughs> Good eating. Uh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll feed some souls. Yeah, I got enough souls that I could just kind of. Toss a level in there. As you wish. Uh. Hmm. Help for now. <laughs> mm. Oh. Uh, Shit, dog. Hey, we want. Let me tend to our uninvited guests. I don't think I've ever seen humans in this game before. Fury, currently reserving the right to kill you where you stand. And you are? Surprised. I'm more than a little relieved. Call me Ulfane Blackhammer. So, you'll not be flattening me today? Hmm. A maker, are you not? Aye. When there's something to make. Today, my skills are only aimed towards instruments of death. This is not your war. No, not theirs neither. Like your counsel, I care for balance, horsemen. 
Humans, frail as they be, are part of the balance. Surely you're here to help protect them. Mm. I suppose it's not quite <laughs> I suppose you're not wrong, but I mean, like... The tribe of simians whose greatest talent was inventing ingenious new ways to divide and destroy one another. They could suffer forever or die tomorrow, and I wouldn't bat an eye either way. Then what is your business here? What do they call you? Jones. Jones. Question me again with your last breath. <laughs> Look around. Look what's happened here. Do you honestly think anything scares me now? Easy, lad. This one's none for trifles. Yeah? What do I have to lose? This moronic conflict makes you all look so stupid. Angel, demon, horseman, even maker. What are you even fighting for, huh? Tell me. I like this one. You may continue breathing, Jones. Horseman, please. To have you on our side would turn the tide in ways we cannot measure. Humanity might stand a chance. While my mission does involve balance, it does not require them. I am here Oof. to root out the seven deadly saints and return them to the Council. No less, no more. What if... I can help you. <sighs> Not by the chain you carry, could use some work. I sincerely doubt that. I'm faring quite well without any help. <sighs> of course. But in case you missed the moniker, I am a maker who specializes oh, in right. instruments of destruction, chaos, I remember. and the deliverance of she, uh, not she. So there, well, yeah, she in the in the, the second game, there was a, a lady who would make my armor. I think. If your horsemanship would give me the chance. In exchange for... Humanity will not survive without aid. If you come across any humans on your journey, please direct them here. Haven is the only place they might be sufficiently protected. Direct them? How do you expect the apes to cross a battlefield and find you? Oh, I don't. They'll need this, the bridge. Only humans can use it. One touch... They're sent to heaven. Ooh, I bet there's a trophy for it. I accept your offer. Make it. Humanity sounds so creepy like that. I make your collection any less useless. <laughs> we have a non-deal then. As a show of good faith, a gift. Wrath. Where? You seek a pit of hell stretch set in the nether, beneath the city. And please, horsemen. Yes, yes. I will shepherd the wee ones your way, pointless as it may be. We'll see. And remember, Fury. The doors of Haven stand open to any who ask. The Bridge Stone. Nice. Now, can I talk to him and get some shit? What about Welcome this boy? To Haven. Welcome to Haven. Oh, well hey. No? Oh, no, right. She had red hair, so it's not the same lady. Can talk to Jones? much, but they get by. It's what humans do. Mm -hmm. mm, you know what? I'm feeling generous. I'll take the stairs. Place is beautiful. I'm definitely more beautiful than this place is. I can finally sleep safe. Huh. I'm gonna be honest, I thought she was a lot taller. Mm, I feel like that's the way I'm supposed to go. But I kind of want to go here and see what what this offers. So it goes down. Okay, so let's go. He is certainly this. committed to his cause. Ulthane, he is blind to what truly matters. 
Perhaps, yes. Just another pawn who will never understand the game into which he's been played. <laughs> and he does love the sound of his own voice, doesn't he? Not like anyone I... Did you say something? Hmm. Yeah, I suppose this could be good. Okay, he gave me something called Rash, but no idea what the fuck that is. Actually, did he give me Wrath, or did he just mention Wrath? Oh wait, Wrath is my horse, isn't it? Fuck, 